This morning, Florida's Gulf Coast, Panhandle, and Big Ben are waking up to unimaginable destruction. So many lives have been changed forever. So many families have lost everything. Homes are gone. Businesses are gone. Roads and infrastructure along the storm's path have been destroyed. This hurricane was an absolute monster, and the damage left in its wake is still yet to be fully understood. Today, the top focus is search and rescue. We prayed that Floridians stayed safe. Last night, the National Guard, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, and Florida Highway Patrol drove into darkness and unknown, an unknown light uh, last night to begin rescues. And there are a lot of other people uh, that went with them. Our law enforcement and first responders are heroes and are leaving their families to help others. We cannot thank them enough. And this morning, I will be joining the Florida National Guard to survey damage in Panama City and Mexico Beach. The Florida Department of Transportation is leading a massive effort this morning with dozens of crews to clear debris along critical roadways so first responders, National Guard, medical personnel, food, water and supplies, and utility workers can get to where they are needed. We are deploying a massive wave of response and those efforts are already underway. Help is coming by air, land and sea. We have 3,500 Florida National Guard with more than 1,000 high water vehicles, 13 helicopters, and 16 boats for humanitarian assistance, security operations, and search and rescue. The Florida National Guard has coordinated for 15 aviation assets from nine other states. The Florida National Guard got down to Mexico Beach last night and made contact with about 20 residents that thankfully were not injured or in distress. These soldiers also linked up with local law enforcement and they're continuing their mission.